everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're just gonna do a life and garden update, and then later on I'm gonna try the new TikTok sensation, the whipped coffee. That thing has been blowing up. I'm not sure if it's gonna be really worth all of the hard work, it seems like it takes a while. So we'll see how that goes. If you're here just for the coffee, go ahead and skip to the time you see on the screen. If not, as always, I would love if you would stick around and hang out with me for just a little bit. So I guess I'll go ahead and rewind to about mid-March, and that's when my best friend had our wedding. So I was doing all of the maid of honor things. When we came back from that wedding weekend, this whole quarantine and everything going on really started to ramp up. But regardless of being quarantined, we've actually been pretty busy. Will has still been working through all of this because he's deemed an essential worker, and then I've been going back and forth with all of my clients and making sure they're taken care of because pretty much all of my photography work other than some product stuff is either postponed or canceled through May. And then we've also been doing some stuff around the house and we've been helping my mom move. Speaking of my mom, she gave us a couple things like this rug here that she just couldn't use in her new place. We're thinking about possibly switching it out with this main rug because it's getting a little worn and this one's definitely thicker. She also gave us her shark, her Roomba, I don't even know what to call it but we're having a blast with it and I hope it never gets old. We actually decided to nickname it Kirby, just like the vacuum in my little toaster. Other than needing a new water heater all of a sudden, life as a homeowner, fun stuff over here. And, hmm. Oh, I got this guy a new pot because he was outgrowing his old one. But other than that, not much else has happened inside. I'm gonna head outside and show you guys what's going on there. So I've been spending a lot of time out here just keeping everything cleaned and trimmed up. If you watched my gardening video in February, you'll remember I trimmed this guy down to pretty much a twig. And now, he's doing wonderful. Same with my lantana over here. And all of my ferns as well. They were pretty much bald all the way down level with the pot. And if you've been following along, then you know we are also starting to grow our own veggies. Everything seems to be growing at a nice rate, as far as I can tell. We've only been in the ground for about a week. My cucumbers are huge and starting to bloom a little bit over here. The radish are probably the things that have been growing the fastest. And then if you remember, I had a French marigold here that I couldn't identify originally. I have moved that over here to this pot and I just planted some carrots yesterday. I also planted some cilantro yesterday just because it didn't sprout the first time. And then Will and his dad love daddle peppers. I've never even heard of them, but they had a couple extra seeds from a bush they used to have. So I planted some in this pot. Another new thing are these pineapples. My mom had them in her yard and she doesn't have room for them at the new place. So there's two in here. And then this will hopefully be a pineapple and then I'm not sure what this plant is called. We nicknamed him Trooper because on the way here he's in the back of a pickup and was getting beat up by the wind so that's why his nickname is Trooper. One other super exciting thing is we got a shed. So we've been working on decluttering our garage and putting everything into the shed which there will be a whole video about shed organization and decor. Yep, you heard that right, shed decor. It's gonna go from a nice shed to a cute one. And then we spent some time trimming up all the trees in your yard because we have some pretty big oaks. 
And I'm not sure why I didn't mention it in the veggie garden video, but we made a second raised bed and it is full of sunflowers. All of these bigger ones here were planted maybe about three weeks ago and then I transferred them into the bed. These little ones here were just planted a week ago. The reason I planted them at two different times is because sunflowers only bloom for like a week or two and I wanted to extend that blooming period. So ideally the older ones will bloom and once those are done, the younger ones will then be tall and bloom. So that's really what we've been up to lately and in the next month of, well, April slash month of quarantine, I'm sure I will get that shed video out for you guys, do some decluttering, and at the end of the month, it'll be my birthday. And then in May, we're hoping we can still have our Cinco de Mayo party, which we were so excited about. So we're crossing our fingers that that can still happen. We did have to go ahead and cancel a big trip we had planned in May to go to Zion and Vegas. Hopefully we can just postpone that for another time. We're definitely sad about it, but as things go, it's not the end of the world. There's people canceling weddings and graduations. So we're very thankful that Will is still working and thankful that everything that we had planned can be shifted or move. All right, I can definitely use some coffee. All right, so now we are back inside and I have everything we need to make the Dalgona coffee, also known as the whipped coffee, the fluffy coffee, whatever you wanna name it. So I would definitely put on a uh, apron or something because this went everywhere, even on my camera. Uh, I'm gonna try it now. Woo! All right, good, but man, is there some coffee in there. <laughs> Going to take a glass and fill it with ice. And then it says to fill it two thirds up with milk. Ooh, that looks so good. So now we're gonna give this a shot. And honestly, it looks way better than I expected. All right, let's see. That's actually delicious. I don't know though, the, the thing about it is, there's so much milk and then you mix it in, it's not, fluffy anymore. So I don't know, if it's, especially if you whisk by hand, I mean, I don't know if it's worth it. As I keep drinking it, because <laughs> it's actually really good. I'm gonna try a couple things differently, and my goal is to go more fluffy. So I'm gonna start with some heavy cream. And let's go with two thirds cup. And this may be too much. I'm not sure proportion wise. I'll let you know in a minute. And I never claimed that this is going to be a healthy recipe. This is gonna make it not only richer, but more calories. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna be making this, you know, on a Monday. It's gonna be for special occasions because I don't think anyone has this much time on their hands every day. If you do, good for you. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of coffee. And then I'm gonna add a half of a teaspoon of 
cocoa powder, kind of give it a mocha feel. Maybe a, a little bit more than a half a teaspoon. I like chocolate. And then one tablespoon of sugar, keeping the instant coffee and the sugar to a one-to-one -one ratio. Let's mix. I wish you guys would watch closer, but it is going everywhere currently. All right, so now we got our cup. I'm gonna put some of this in the bottom. A little bit of milk. See, this is what I would expect when you say fluffy coffee. All right, so final thoughts are that I wouldn't say mine's better. I mean, they're the experts. However, if you want something that's fluffy, this one. Or if you want something that's layered and Instagrammable, because let's be honest, it's gorgeous. And then it does taste great, but once it mixes in with the milk, I don't feel like it's fluffy. And the one that I made tweaks on, I wouldn't necessarily want to drink a whole thing either, but added to a cake or ice cream, I feel like it would be delicious. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you liked my little experiment, and I will see you all next time.